here is an interesting fact for you. All mammals move in labour. All mammals make sounds in labour. And nearly all mammals will go off on their own for peace, safety and privacy to labour and give birth. We humans may have been evolving over a million years, but we're still mammals. And this is important to remember, especially when it comes to giving birth. Perhaps you've had a house cat before, and perhaps your cat had kittens. Now that cat would have found itself a safe, quiet space away from you and your family to give birth. And when speaking about this while teaching, I hear the most amazing stories. Cats giving birth under beds, in cupboards, in drawers, behind wardrobes, and even under the floorboards at the very back of a house during a renovation. No cat will give birth by walking into a brightly lit room in front of a lot of people, lie on its little back, paws in the air, and wait for someone to birth for it. And if you look throughout the animal kingdom, this need for separation, quiet and safety is repeated again and again and again. A lioness, for example, will leave the pride. She will find an area where she is safe and unobserved. But one thing we've learned about lions is that they have the ability, if they feel threatened, to stop labour, to reverse labour and to get up and go somewhere else. And you know what is really amazing? So can you. And we use the phrase cervical recoil, the idea of the cervix closing and moving away from the threat that it feels. This is so clever, so remarkable. You are perfectly designed. If during labour you feel unsafe, unprotected or unsure, just like a lioness, you can stop your labour, get up and go somewhere safer. You are a mammal. So here is a question. If we can understand the importance of peace, quiet and respect for the safe and effective progression of labour, why do we continue with births where women have had to leave the safety and comfort of their home to be in brightly lit rooms with people they have never met before in attendance? Lying down flat with strange smells and strange sounds, being asked to display a vulnerable area of their anatomy to whoever asks. Why do we not see that cervical recoil, a stopping or slowing of labour, would be the most obvious result? And when things do slow down, what do we do? We offer medicine. Some women are told to push harder, to make more effort, that they're just not working hard enough. The blame goes to the woman, not the way that they've been asked to give birth. We are mammals. We need to birth like mammals. Peace and quiet, dim lighting, feeling safe and supported, birthing in our own way and our own time. No more to scary birth stories. No more to emotional blackmail. No more to inaccurate portrayals of birth in film. And TV. You are built to birth your baby and your baby is built to be born. And if we do hit a problem, if we do need a little extra help, then we are so, so lucky to have the medical care and attention and skill that we have access to. But this can still be given with respect and kindness. And we can still utilise the hypnobirthing skills and ideals that we can learn. So let's start from mammal. Movement, sound and a quiet and positive birth environment.